very unique uh, this is not the best way to do it but uh, well it is a way to do it anyway so um this is how we are uh, how we w uh, how we will do things uh, we will go to the remove and write its code first we check if there are no rows selected uh, so if the gv dot rows dot uh, uh, sorry dot selected selected rows dot count equals zero then exit sub we will exit the subroutine so if I didn't select any row I can't delete anything now if I s selected anything from the list I will have to uh, I will have to remove that uh, element from from my list so, so uh, this this is how it goes I'll have to do a search dimension I as integer for I equals zero uh, sorry and dimension n as string n for name here equal dgv dot selected rows of zero uh, of zero dot cells of zero dot value okay i'm getting the selected rows this is a first cell which contains the name and now for i equals zero to uh c minus one okay and now if uh, if uh, contact list of i dot name equal n I found the name then I will have to uh, remove that entry from the display to remove it I'm gonna use dgv dot select the uh, draws of zero dot remove uh, sorry dot rows dot remove it works like this dot remove dgv dot selected rows of zero okay this is how I'm, I'm gonna remove it from the display but the data is still available inside the data structure sorry inside the array so I'll have to remove it as well and to remove it I'm gonna overwrite it by uh, sorry I'm gonna shift the, the, the elements so now dimension j as integer and for j equal uh, i plus one two nine 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 and here uh, contact list of j minus one equal contact list of j okay now um here uh when i am going to shift all these elements I also I'll have to read uh, C equals C minus one and then exit sub <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> sorry so now after I shift all the elements I reduce the number of elements by one and exit the, the whole subroutine because I have done what I need to do there is no need for a co continuing the loop okay uh, let's just test this first and then we will discuss something about this assignment and what it actually do and how it's different from structure okay so I will save this one now and uh, run the code so contact add let's add Smith Smith and uh, a a contact add Michael B B okay so now let's select Michael oh let's add another one and John C C add so I'm removing Michael so select contact select remove you can see now it's removed if I want to further see the content the content here I can right click contact uh, sorry let me come over here and uh, contact select add now if I select contact list or I stand over it and uh, see the first one okay you can see a Smith okay and the uh, telephone and the second one is C John 
okay these are the content inside the data structure okay as simple as that now uh, before before we uh, continue with this one uh, with this example I'm gonna do something here in the structure you used to to us uh, you can uh, do an assignment like for example a equal B and uh, what this does is usually copy all the content uh, of B into a for example a equal B uh, sorry uh, uh, dimension let me show you an example k1 as a new contact info and dimension k2 as contact info and k1 dot read contact information k2 equal k1 and k2 dot name equal high msg box k1 msg box k2 okay this is uh, a small example about the assignment statement the, uh, in uh, when you 